parents and carers, thanks for helping your young person join in with us for Get Active at Home. For this episode, they will need six pairs of socks, small soft balls or similar small soft objects, a washing basket or bucket, a tennis or squash racket or similar, activity logbook and a pencil, and a water bottle. You can download an activity logbook from www.sports.det.nsw.edu.au. Oh, and don't forget, you can join in with them too. Have fun! Hi, I'm Alyssa. And I'm Adam, and thanks for joining us for... Get active, Get active at home. home. What are we going to start with today, Adam? Oh, I tell you what. First of all, you're going to get your hands out like an aeroplane. Okay, nice and warm. Okay. And we're going to be doing a standing long jump forward. So get those hands a-swinging. And we're going to do a big jump forward. <laughs> Fantastic. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a greater showman slide to the right. Oh, like that. Oh, you got it. Now a standing long jump, but this time we're going to go backwards. Oh, that's a bit trickier. It certainly is. That's it. Good brace of the knees, bending <laughs> those knees. Now we're going to do a greater showman to the left. Woohoo! yeah. Okay, everybody, make sure you have a look around and you've got a nice, safe space. If you've bumped into anything, move it out of the way. And just as importantly, make sure you are wearing enclosed shoes because we don't want thongs, flip-flops, jandals, sandals, anything like that. So we're going to be doing so many activities today. Okay, we're going to have our riddle of the day now. Adam, Ooh. are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay, I want you to think of something that is round but straight. It has strings, but it's not an instrument. What am I thinking of? I wonder if you can work it out at home. Hmm, round but straight. Hmm. <laughs> I got it. My bottle. <laughs> oh, of course that's what you think of. Bottles, Adam, you're not listening to all of the clues. Great idea to have your bottle nice and handy, though. Hydrate, dominate. Do you have your bottle ready at home? Make sure it's right there so you can take sips of water throughout the session. But let's get back to our clue. Have you worked out what I'm thinking of? <laughs> yeah, I got it. Racket. He found it. It is a... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Adam, you need to be safe. We're inside right now. Maybe save those nice big shots for outside on the tennis court. We're just practising our technique today. Good point. Advantage Alyssa. All right, so we are going to need a racket today. Uh, if you don't have a racket at home, maybe you could use a saucepan or you could even use a small table tennis bat. Oh, oh, I know what we can use. A hand. My uh, hand's like as big as one of these rackets. Wow. Yep, so whatever, whatever you've got at home, whatever works for you, we're also going to need something to hit our hit with today. So maybe six squishy balls or socks. Maybe not tennis balls today because we are inside and we need to make sure that we're being safe and we don't want anything broken. I got it then. So six squishy balls. I can, yeah, I got this. Okay. And one more thing. You need a washing basket or a bucket. Ooh. So you've got all those things, Adam? I Ready? do, I do. Six okay. baskets, a ball and a partridge in a pear tree. Oh, no, he got it all mixed up. We're going to start today by reaching up nice and high and we're going to do the Merv Hughes. So we're going to reach to one side and now reach to the other. That's it, everybody. Stretching the side of our body. Well done. And just this side now. Okay, now I want you to reach out to one side, one hand. Now the other side. And let's make it a little bit faster. And this is called the Napoleon Dynamite. That's it. And if you're not sure who Napoleon Dynamite is, you can just ask Pedro. Let's do three, two, one. Great job. Now we're going to go down in plank position so we can activate our core. So now that we're in plank position, we're going to bring one of our feet up to our hands like this and we're going to do a runner's lunge. So you're going to take it back out and back up like that. That's it. Great work, everybody. You guys keep going and I'm going to give a shout out to some people who have sent in some lovely emails. We're going to start off today with one from Caitlin who says, Hi, Alyssa and Adam. I have so much fun when I join in with you. I like all the different creative ways you do sports and the sports stars are really inspirational. I can't believe they sent us a personal shout out. Oh, that's so lovely, Caitlin. We love those messages too from those sports stars. Okay, everybody, let's go back and we're gonna change sides now. So we're gonna bring our other foot in, up to our hand and back out. In and out. And you keep going with your runner's lunge and I'm gonna read another email from Xavier. Xavier says, I think it's really cool how we get to try new activities and I haven't done before. Great job, Xavier. I'm using my activity logbook and to keep track of all the new things I'm trying. 
That's wonderful to hear, Xavier. Well done for keeping track of your activity progress. We're so proud of you. Okay, everybody, let's start our huff and puff so we can get our bodies nice and warm. We're going to start by jogging on the spot. That's it, everybody. Whoa. Freeze! Everybody, bob your head. Hey, Alyssa, I got what, what you asked oh, for. Whoa, Adam, what are you doing with that? I asked for a racket. What is that? Well, it's a paddle. It's just oh. to help us in case we're up. Uh... Oh. oh, Adam. Nah, it's from our sports star today. Oh, of course, our sports star clue. All right, what clue do you have for me today? Well, not only does our sports star use this paddle, he used it to win a gold medal. Oh, cool. Mm. Uh, no, I'm not sure, Adam. I think maybe I'm going to need some more clues, but I think we need to start our warm-up first. So you might want to put your equipment down. Okay, okay. So we can make a start. That's it. And I'm going to put you through your paces today. All right, I hope you're ready to join in at home with us. We're going to start. I don't know how to do a warm-up. Right, no, Adam, we need something more dynamic. What do you mean? Well, we want to get our bodies moving. So I want you to start off by doing a burpee. Ah. Oh, oh Adam, that's gross. That's not what I meant. A burpee. Oh, this one. Yeah, that's it. Do you know how to do a burpee at home? Great, so do one burpee. Now I want you to do four side jumps, like you skip when you're skipping. Like this. One, two, three, two, four. four. Perfect. Now I want you to do four tuck jumps. Four tuck jumps. One, two, three, four. Perfect, and I think you're getting your body nice and warm. Let's do that again. I'm gonna join in now so I can get warm too. Okay, burpee, go. Down on the ground and up, that's it. Now we want our four side jumps. One, One two, two, three, three four. four. Four tuck jumps. One, two, three, four. four. Okay, let's do it one more time. One burpee. more, burpee. That's it, and up. Real quick, four, four jumps. Two, two, three, four. Four, four tuck jumps. jumps. One, two, three, four. four. I am warm now. You're telling me, I need a drink. Yeah, let's grab that drink. Ooh, get some water. Ooh. Hey Adam, so our sports star was an Olympic gold medalist. Is that right? He was the uh, London 2012 Olympics. He won gold with the kayak four sprint team. Oh, good clue. It's ringing a bell, but I'm still not 100%. Okay, I'll give you one more. They are going to be competing at the Tokyo 2021 Olympics in the sprint kayaking team. Mm, no, still don't have it. Okay, I'll give you one more clue. Here's another piece to the puzzle. Have a look. Ooh. Yeah, it's starting to become a bit clearer. I think I'm gonna need, it. I need some more clues though. Okay, I'll give you some throughout uh, throughout today. So, right. I'm warm, I'm ready. My legs are a bit jelly though. Yeah, that's great though. It means that you're actually working out those leg muscles so you're ready for activities today. Ah. Okay, I'm ready. What uh, are we doing? Okay, so you're gonna need to grab your racket or your hand if that's what you're using. And that's what we're gonna start with today. We're gonna start off with a game called Boom Goes a Dynamite. Oh, hey, are we gonna be using like our our open, open and closed, yes. That's right. You remember from last time. So we've got our open, which is our forehand, and closed, which is our, which is our backhand. And we're going to be using that to start off with today. So we're going to grab our dynamite sticks. Oh, dynamite sticks. Yeah, yeah. What are grab, they? Grab those, grab those six ah, things and grab them. There are they are. dynamite? Yeah, perfect. Ah, and yes. we're going to scatter our dynamite around on the floor. That's it. Do I need the basket? No, I don't need the basket. You can put that to the side for now. Okay. Okay, so here is our dynamite, and we're going to practice by trying to stop the dynamite from exploding. And the way that we do that is we have to hit each one ten times in a row. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you're saying that to stop it from going, I just have to pick it up yep. and hit ten times, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. And it's not going to explode anymore. Ah. Or you might even like to try doing forehand and backhand. So you might want to swap it around. So you might want to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That one won't explode and it goes back down. Oh, I think you guys should try it at home. I need one more practice. Then yeah, I let's think practice we can again. make this a little challenge. Yeah, I think so. Okay, let's grab that. One, two, one, three. Two. Make sure you four, have eyes five, on the prize. Six, seven, eight, nine, That's it. ten. Could you keep control of the ball? All right, let's put into a game, Adam. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you guys ready at home? Okay, let's put 30 seconds on the clock. On your marks. Get set. Let's, let's go. go. Okay, grab your stick of dynamite and count out nice and loud. Three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. seven, eight, Whoa. nine, ten. Okay, I got one. I got keep one. Keep going at home. Remember, you want to have eyes on the prize, so you want to keep it within your eye shot, so don't hit it too high or seven, it'll get eight. way too hard. Oh. Keep going. Oh. You're doing well. I missed that time. I'm going to have to start that one again. So I've got one. This is my second one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's 
You're doing really well. There's not long left. Great job. Oh, there's two seconds oh, left. And, and time. time. Wow, that was actually really Ooh. hard. That was like Mission Impossible. I know. It was very, very tough. How did you guys go at home? Yeah, it was quite tough, wasn't it? Why don't we put these in our activity logbook? Wow, boom goes the dynamite with such a tough game. I'm going to write down my score today, which was two. And I've drawn a stick of dynamite and I also got two. So I'm going to put a big two there too. All right, guys, I think it's time to step it up a gear now. In racket sports, we don't really hit the ball up and down like that. That's great to get control, but I think it's time now to try and hit to the other side. Let's get tennis ready. Oh, yes, I know this, tennis ready. So you can use your hand to get tennis ready, but I'm going to demonstrate it with a racket. Can I have the racket, please? Sure. Oh, thanks. Don't forget to give that racket a handshake. Okay, so when we're tennis ready, we actually stand side on. So we need to be standing side on. Beautiful. Looking good. Now, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go over the bridge and through the tunnel. Do you know what that means, Alyssa? No idea. Can you show me? So the way over the bridge and through the tunnel works is we go over the bridge and through the tunnel. Can you do that at home? So over the bridge and through the tunnel. Is that right? That's correct. So over the bridge and through the tunnel. And we want to put one little step in there, and that's with our front foot. So as we go over the bridge, we step forward at the same time we go through the tunnel. So let's see if we can put those things together. So over the bridge, through the tunnel. Let's go again. Over the bridge, through the tunnel. Yeah, you're looking good. That's awesome. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick up our six round object, and we're going to head over to our wall. So, my wall, Alyssa, can you please get ready to be a wall? Okay. Okay. Over here? Yeah. Right? Excellent. So, I'm going to put them on the ground. I'm only going to use one of them. Now, before we get started, I just want to go back through those cues again. Do you remember what they are? That's it. It's over the bridge and through the tunnel. But don't forget that step when you go through the tunnel. So, let's have a little practice together. So, over the bridge, through the tunnel. Yeah, you're doing an amazing job. So, now... We're going to introduce our soft round thing. So I'm using socks. Remember, don't use tennis balls in the house. Go outside if you're going to do that. So we're going to put this in, but we need to make sure we're doing a mini toss. So with your opposite hand, the one that you're not going to hit with, I want you to practice a little mini toss. Now, it shouldn't be too high. We only want a little toss. So we throw it too high. It's way too hard to hit. So show me your mini toss. Yeah, that's it. Okay, now we're ready. So we want to do a mini toss and do over the bridge and through the tunnel. Are you ready, my wall? I am ready. Okay, my wall's talking. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> okay, let's go. So over the bridge, through the tunnel. Oh, go ahead. my wall can catch. Yeah. Over the bridge, through the tunnel. Go Don't ahead. forget those eyes on the prize as you do it. Over the bridge, through the tunnel. Couple more, keep going. Oh, good job. Over the bridge, through the tunnel. Don't forget that step though. And over the bridge, through the tunnel. Oh, my wall nearly caught over them. <laughs> Thank you, Alyssa, for being my wall. Ah, oh, make a great wall, don't I, Adam? Oh, you certainly do. Okay, now that we've done that, I think maybe we might be able to put that into a... Oh, you think... Challenge! That's exactly what I was thinking what? about. I can see Adam yes. is ready. Are you guys ready at home? Let's get our swipe hands ready. Swipe hands ready. Three, two, one, challenge! <laughs> Okay, so for our challenge today, we're going to see how many times we can get our soft round object up against the wall, just like what you've been practicing. Hey, Adam, do you want to try a racket for this challenge? Oh. Remember, at home you can grab whatever you like. You might want to challenge yourself with something different. Oh, that's a great idea. And I think also, because I've had a practice at this with my forehand, and if you at home want a bit more of a challenge, why don't we add the backhand into it? So what we're going to do with our backhand is I'm going to get these soft round objects on the ground. Now our backhand's very similar to a forehand except on the other side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to face this way so I'm across my body and what I'm going to do is it's still over the bridge and through the tunnel but it's going to be a lot faster because if I've got the soft object in my hand I need to toss it up and get over the bridge and through the tunnel in plenty of time. So we're still doing over the bridge through the tunnel with that little step. So let's practice that first without any of the objects. So put them on the ground. You ready? Over the bridge, through the tunnel. Let's have another go. Over the bridge, through the tunnel. Yeah, that's pretty good. So when we toss the object, we only want a little toss again. 
But this time as we toss it, we want to be really fast with the over the bridge. Let's put 30 seconds on the clock. All right. Okay, on your marks. Get set. Let's go. Oh, nice one, Adam. Through the That's bridge, one. Through the tunnel. How are you going at home? That's two. That's it. Keep going. Wow, you're doing such a great job with your backhand there. Thanks. That's three. Make sure that board toss is good and eyes on That's the prize. Four. Remember, everybody, if that's too hard, you can always go back to doing a forehand as well. Okay, that's six. Let's oh. roll them back to your Thank other you, Thank you, Wall. Again. Okay. That's it. Oh. Okay. Over the pitch, through the tunnel. Great Keep work, going. Not seven. much left on the claw. Okay, there's five it's seconds to go. Final. Keep going. Eight. And keep going. One more. And time. Oh. Wow, Ooh. you did such an amazing job with that backhand, Adam. You look like a pro. Oh, thanks. They call me Djokovic. <laughs> I'm a joker. How did you go at home, everybody? I think it's time now to put that into our activity logbook. Oh, great idea. I've drawn my wall, which is just like a square because I'm not the greatest drawer, but that's okay. And I got nine. Hey, Adam, I think it might be time for another clue. I, I'm really looking forward to finding out who this person is for our sports star today. Oh, yes, another sports clue. Well, I've already told you that our sports star is going to the Tokyo Olympics next year and they also have won a gold medal. But did you know the Tokyo Olympics are going to be their third Olympics and they have a young child who'll probably follow in his footsteps? Oh, some good clues there, Adam. Still not, still not 100%. I think maybe I might need something else. Can you help okay. me out? Okay, how about have a look at this clue? Ah. Oh. Yep, yep, okay, it's starting to become a little bit clearer. How are you going at home? Are you working out who it is? All right, still not sure. I think we need a few more clues, Adam. Fair enough. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you a few more clues throughout. Okay. Hey, Adam, what did one tennis ball say to the other tennis ball? No, no idea. See you around. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, come on, that was a good oh. one. <laughs> Speaking of see you around, I think it's time for our... Mega Challenge! Oh, yes, our Mega Challenge. I wonder where we're going today. I know, right? Like, oh. Wow. So excited. Okay. I'm so excited. Where do you excited. think we might be going today? All right, I hope, oh. hope you can join us. I hope I'm dressed ready for the occasion so, like, I'm not cold or anything like before. I don't think you're dressed for any occasion. Hey! <laughs> All right, okay. get, get those swipe hands ready. Swipe your hands ready. Three, two, one. Mega Challenge! challenge. This is so cool. I know, right? Wow. I feel like we're in deep water. I know, you're telling me. I think we're in over our head. Oh, whoa. The water is colourful fish. Yeah. What? Oh, my goodness. Oh, and can you hear that sound? The sound, the sound of what? The sound of silence. Oh, oh we must be. Under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Under the sea. Darling, it's better. Down where it's wetter. Take it from me. <laughs> wow, this is oh. so cool. What a great place for our mega location today. I know. Today. Mia from Cronulla Public School has emailed in and she has chosen the location for our mega challenge today. Such a good choice. So, what is our mega challenge? For our mega challenge today, we're going to need to grab our equipment. So you're going to need your racket, if you have one, your six soft objects, and you're also going to need to get your washing basket or that bucket that you grabbed earlier. Now, I can see you at home that you have yours, but I'm wondering how we're going to get ours. We're under the sea, like, whoa! Do you mean this? I do mean that. Adam, how did you get that? Octopus had it. Let's uh, just say it wasn't a handful for him. Okay, so... What is the mega challenge? Okay, the mega challenge today is going to involve using a target. So I would like you to grab your racket. Can I use my hand? Yeah, you can actually okay. use your hand. Yeah, you can use your hand today. You're going to need your six soft objects at one end and your target at the other end. Okay, yep. so I can leave my objects here. Perfect. No fish take. Yep, yep. And your target the other end. And remember, the further away the target, the harder it is. So you can choose at home where you want to put that. All right, so we're going to try and see how many of those objects we can get into our target. And we might want to put the target up against the wall. Yes, so gonna... I've got a wall in the sea. All right, so I'm going to act as your wall today. I'm going to see if you can use those cues, Adam, to get those in here. Let's Ooh. see how you go today. You want to have so a practice? So remember at home, push those washing baskets up against that wall. And I think it's time for us to practice. Great idea, Alyssa. So don't forget, it's over the bridge and through the tunnel. 
So Zip. over the bridge, through, through the, the tunnel. tunnel. Okay. okay, I'm ready. You can over do it the bridge, Adam. through, through the, the tunnel. Oh, sick yes. shot. Natural. Nice work. Over the bridge, through, through the, the tunnel. tunnel. Perfect. Two Remember, two. you can use your forehand or your backhand. It does not matter. I'm trying with my forehand this time. Yeah. Over, over the, the bridge, bridge through, through the, the tunnel. tunnel. Excellent. Over the bridge, through wow, the tunnel. Wow, I hope you guys are going to oh, score Adam. Four from four. Over the bridge, through, through the, the tunnel. tunnel. Oh, five from five. five. Over think. the ridge, through the tunnel. Oh, oh, you oh yes. Thank you, Mr. Seabed. <laughs> <laughs> wow, he did some favours for you. Great work, everybody. How did you go at home with that challenge? Now, I think, I think we need to try that again. That was our practice round. Let's now make it that mega challenge which we can put into our activity logbook. Ah, and so, how about you do the mega challenge this time? Alyssa? Uh, I did the practice. I think you should do the mega challenge. Okay, I might put the objects this end. I'm going to give the target oh. to you. And can you act as my wall, Adam? Is that okay? I certainly can be your wall. You know what? I'm going to try using the racket today. All right. So okay. I'm going to use those same cues again. Here's my ball. Okay. What was it again, Adam? Remind me. Over the bridge and through, through the tunnel. tunnel. Okay. Remember, Over keep the bridge, the eyes on the through prize. The oh, yes. Oh, good use of the wall. Yes, thank you, Adam. Over the bridge, through the through, tunnel. Oh, just missed. How are you going at home? Keep Over going. The bridge, through the tunnel. Remember, Nothing. you don't want to throw it too high. You want a small ball toss. Okay, let's see if I can get a little bit more accurate. Yes. Good job. Okay, that's two. Two more. How are you going? Oh, thank you, oh, wall. Oh, the wall is doing okay, wonders. Okay, let's see if I can get the crab into the target. Come on, Mr. Crab. This Krabby. one moves. Oh, oh, so close. Great job though, Alyssa. You got three in. Yeah. How did you guys go at home? Good job. That's awesome to hear. Now, if you've got your activity logbooks close by, we couldn't bring them with us because they would have got wet. Make sure you're writing down how many you got in because we want to be able to improve next time we have a go. All right, Adam, you know what? I'm looking forward to finding out about our sports star. Do you have another clue for me? Oh, I certainly do. So not only is our sports star an Olympian, like we've already said, our sports star went to university at the Sydney University and they're also an architect. Wow, so many talents. I know, right? Uh, you know what, can we have another piece of that puzzle? Oh, I think so. Let's have a little look. Oh, yep, okay. I think it's getting a little bit clearer now. I'm getting closer, I'm getting closer. How are you guys going at home? Are you working it out yet? Oh, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll give you a couple more clues. Hey, it's time for our creative oh, challenge. creative challenge. Oh, it's gonna be a bit hard under the water today. We might have I to, know. Uh, okay, well, how can we get creative? Oh, so I'm thinking what we need to do is we'll put our six soft round things around our basket, okay. but we'll take it off the wall this time. And you've got to be creative in how you hit it in. So that might be a forehand. It might be a backhand. It might even be between the legs. Oh. Anything you want, but you've got to do something different each time. Do you have any ideas, Alyssa? Oh, I've got a few ideas. You might want to join in with us today. All right, so my first one today, I'm going to go between the legs. Oh, starting Ooh. tough. What are you guys going to do? Get ready for it. Ooh. What have you got, Adam? What are you going to do to get creative? Ooh. Backhand under the legs? Yeah, nice. Ooh. Oh, so close, so close. All right, I'm going to do a slam. I like going after the net and slamming it, so not in my house. Oh, just like before that we've done. <laughs> not in my house. Yeah. That's awesome. Okay, what oh, do you got, Adam? How crazy are you getting credit. at home? You join in with us now? Behind the back. You ready for this? Yeah, yeah, like, oh, oh, oh I missed swing it. and a miss. I'm having Try another again. go. Try again. Oh, Mr. Krabby yes, got in. Yes, Mr. Krabby. All right, my one now. I'm going to go between the legs. You ready? Oh, that's a tough shot. Oh, oh good try, missed. though. How are you going at home? Oh. Yeah, there's some creative stuff happening. I can see it. All right, last one, yeah, last one, one, Adam. Make it your last one. Can you get creative? No, look. Oh, over the oh, shoulder. So close. Oh, so we're... close. Oh, great okay, job, I everybody. think they've all had a go now. Whew, that was creative. That was super creative. Okay. That's uh, worked up a sweat. Is it I think it's rest? time to drink some water. Well, hold on a sec. We've got water everywhere. I know, but there's salt in this water, so we can't drink that water. So go get your water bottles, and we're going to take a seat on this seabed. Come close, and we'll take a break. Whoa! Oh, that was so much fun. I know, right? But I think it's time to have a drink. Yeah, I've worked up a sweat doing that. I don't... Sweat? How do you know if it's sweat or if it's water? We're oh, under the sea. True, true. Hey, do you have another clue for me? Oh, I do. I really I want to do. work out who the sports star is. Come on, yes. let's work it out, guys. Another clue. I nearly We'd forgot. Work it out. Well, not only does our sports star love eating healthy and clean, he was also born in South Africa. Oh, I think I know who you mean. Are you talking about Murray Stewart? Yes, you got oh. it. It's Murray Stewart, and he's here with a special shout out for you guys. Hi, everyone. It's Murray Stewart here, Olympic gold medalist in canoe sprint. 
so great to see you all getting active at home. You never know, you could be Australia's next sports superstar. Uh, today, my challenge for you is to do consecutive push-ups. I'm struggling to get beyond about 10 at the moment, so let's give it a crack. Keep safe and stay active. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, that challenge what? is insane! I he know! Is so strong! I know, there's no way I could do that. It must be all that clean eating and healthy food he's getting, just makes him strong. That's right, he Ooh. is such a legend. And you know what? Speaking of legends, you guys are legends too for joining in today. Thank you so much. Fantastic today. There was a lot of challenging things, but all of you crushed it, so well done. And a huge shout out to Minamaro Public School. We had a special message from their teacher saying they're all joining in and getting active, so great work. That's right, and if you guys just want to touch base with us and let us know how you're going at home, or whether even if you're doing it at your school, feel free to email us to getactive at det.nsw.edu.au because we'd love to hear from you. And remember, if you want to try some more striking skills, you might want to check out our school sport website. There's heaps of ideas on there for you. Yep, and stay safe. And the main thing, remember, get active at home. See you, See you later. later. Bye. Bye.